All right, so uh, I am a writer. Yeah, thanks. Um, it basically means that I'm broke. Um, but I decided that I would try my hand at stand-up. I'm still broke. Um, but my husband has been super supportive. He, uh, you know, I was talking with him and I said, honey, would you, um, would you record my performance for me? And he said, uh, you mean like Pamela and Tommy Lee? I said, no. I mean my, my stand-up bit. And he said, oh, my idea would make way more money. I've heard your jokes. So uh, I obviously married for love. Or I got knocked up, but we don't, we don't have time for that. So I recently was published on the Huffington Post, which was, was pretty cool. They didn't pay either. But my dad called me and he was like, I, I can't believe you wrote an article about underwear. You said vagina and thongs. What are the people at church going to think? I, I said, well, Dad, vagina's not a dirty word. It's a body part. We'll talk about that later. But um, would you have preferred I had talked about how some people like mom, don't wear underwear? I, I mean, she'll probably go to the top of the prayer list for going commando, I, I don't know. But um, they do love to pray for pantyless sinners. So if you need to get to the top, just tell them you don't wear underwear. It works, I've done it. Um, I am a mom, I have three kids. That's why I'm here. I'm not a fan of bath time, bed time, reading time, coloring time, craft time, or any r real family time. But um, I do write a blog. It's called That's Inappropriate, because it is. But I, I, um, I, I kind of talk about what not to do as a parent from firsthand experience. And I, I'm kind of the poster child for the runner up of the Mother of the Year Award. Nine times nominated. Hold your applause, ma'am. Um, I'm the mom at the pool that's passed out while her kids are swimming. You pointed at her, it's okay. Um, it's survival of the fittest, right? I, I think, I'm not sure. I, I haven't checked recently. I think they're all alive, but I, I love them. Um, I did write another article recently called 10 Things I Said I'd Never Do as a Parent. Never say never. 20-year-old um, childless me said that I would never give my kids junk food. 35-year-old yeah. tired-ass mom said, Twinkies for dinner? Yeah, pull up a chair. We're good. 20-year-old childless me said uh, I would never let my kids sleep in my bed. Yes, ma'am. 35-year-old tired-ass mom gets pissed on more frequently than R. Kelly's girlfriend. Okay. <laughs> They, they piss on me a lot. 20-year-old um, childless me said I would never be the last one at pickup for daycare. 35-year-old tired-ass mom got a call from the daycare last week. It went something like this. Yes, hi, ma'am. Will you be coming for your child? Oh, you, you didn't know he was here. Okay. Um, will someone be coming for your child? You're busy. Oh, okay. No, ma'am, we don't do overnight stays. Oh, okay. No, okay. So, in my defense, I was in the middle of a mani-pedi, and I had a coupon. You don't pass that up, okay? Someone would go get him, I think. Um, but in the comment section of this article, they were tearing me up. They said things like, be a loving parent. <laughs> Stop being lazy and watch your children. <laughs> this one chick, Tina, 1995, and we're gonna assume from her screen name that she's an idiot. She said that I was a bad parent for not picking my child up on time. I was emotionally abusive. <laughs> Tina, 1995, it's not emotional abuse, it's called character building. 
Okay. And, uh, oh no. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I had a good one for y'all. Sorry.